Okay. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellen Henry. I'm a circus performer and I freaking love handstands. Today's video is impromptu. Impromptu? Today's video is spontaneous because, oh my gosh, this is, this is going to be fun. I just found a, I don't know, in my opinion, hilarious video. Like this is really cool. It's like handstand related. So it's a little handstand challenge, but like based off something that someone made. I will reference this person and everything. Let's just watch this video first though. So, today I'm going to attempt to see how far I get in this little challenge. This is going to be interesting because it's not just a handstand skill, like it is, it's a bit of an acro move and it's based off this skill called a flare. So, let's go. I'm going to show you what this is. So we're going to need a couch and a bed. Maybe I'm going to stay in normal clothes for once and not get into active wear. Shock horror. Okay, so. First off. First off, this is based on a flare, which is this. But also, but also potentially this one as well. That, but like in a circle. Yeah, that one. That's the one. So yeah, the, quite a few of those movements are based off that flare that I just showed you. Um, me trying to explain that flare could be interesting. Let's try. Okay, this is a challenge. I want you guys to try and learn it too. So I'm going to be kind and try and teach it to you. Okay, for this flare, it's like you're moving in a like circle, but you're also like alternating. You can sort of break it down and do this like weird, like circle movement. So you're twisting your hands and your feet are following and they're going around in this like circle. So you can practice that first. The next thing that you can then work out is this like step back motion with your hands. So opposite leg and arm, the leg is gonna come back. That hand is gonna come close to your foot and then you're gonna use that foot to hop yourself like back. You can do this with like both arms. Just try to get it on one side first. So it's hand there, push back. And then you can make it bigger with the legs and the arms to like get like a bigger step and stuff. And then you essentially wanna combine the two. So, that same leg is going back, but you want to start bringing it around behind you in a circle. And that arm that's coming down, it's going to come across your body, almost like replacing where that foot was. So replacing it to there. And then same thing, you want to bring this hand as well behind and this leg is going to push off and you really want to think about bringing your body around in like a circle motion. You can practice them really small first to get like a better idea with these. And then you can make them bigger and bigger. My bed. Now that we've learned that flare, I think that's gonna help with like the basics of this because everything from level two is like that partial flare. Level one is literally just like a handstand fall onto the bed backwards. Yeah, backwards. Me just like rediscovering fun things to do. Dope. So with this first one, you're literally kicking up into a handstand and maybe giving it a little bit too much power to get yourself like over and onto your bed. That one's pretty easy, as you saw. 
and I think a little tip is to really push through your shoulders as you're coming over so that you don't like land like half on the bed and like slide off. Level two. Okay, level two, interesting. I already need to screen record this for myself and slow mo it down because understanding it is a little bit tricky. I'm sorry, but I don't like the music <laughs> that they chose, but they are very cool skills. Okay, so you kind of do this like this is also a great way if you do find any like tough challenges online and you don't know how to learn them. This is also a great way to learn stuff. So you can kind of see like how I'm breaking it down and like screen recording it and then like slowing it down so that you can break it down for yourself is a great way to try and like break down something to learn it okay so well first off which way do I turn and which way is he turning let's try and figure that out so he's going right hand in and turning to the right so let's just make sure that that computes in my brain and if it feels yuck and gross I might have to go the other way um, yeah, that feels comfy. Pretty sure what that was it. <laughs> I put this on the screen as well. You can see that he's bringing his right hand across and like all the way across his body. So it's like replacing where his left foot is. And breaking stuff down like this to like really specific like placements is super important to kind of like grasp what they're doing for the skill. Going right hand across to left, kicking the right leg up that around okay that's also important he's lifting up his left foot and he's kicking off his right let's try this ding 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 i haven't done a challenge like this in so long i just remembered i have filmed another like handstand challenge video which will link up here for you guys if you enjoy this video go and watch that that one's a fair bit older like i was using my previous camera so the footage is it's not the best but it is a pretty great video to watch so you can go watch that if you want more handstand challenges okay that was that was level two okay level three this one you're literally just doing like a quarter turn more and we're also aiming to land on our side into the a uh, drummy like a french guard position but we're bringing the left leg down to like lie side on the ground. Am I gonna back these? Side bits? Anyways, let's find out. <laughs> I think I am. Alright, and level four, which is literally to sitting now. Pretty sure it's just like another like little quarter turn more, plus a bit of a twist to go from the bum to get it like underneath yourself and to be sitting. Also, put the little slow-mo video of it there, and hopefully what I'm saying makes sense with the video. Let's give this a crack. Not quite. Go. Oh. That's wild. Warm up before you do these. Especially the wrist that you're going to be turning on. But sick. <laughs> the kids are so loud next door. They're in like the pool, and their pool is like right there. Not again. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so cool! Man, I live in Queensland and it's December. It's hot. Well, as soon as you get moving, just sweat. Sweat. Well, 
that was fun. <laughs> um, if you guys do give this a go and you find the breakdown helpful, please give this video a like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to see more exciting videos just like this in 2023. This was from the Jason Paul. So thank you, Jason Paul, for the cool, fun little challenge. That was awesome. Um, you can check him out. I'll leave his Instagram name down in the description box below and just here so you can go and check him out. You can check out the original video that he posts of it because I think it's so awesome. And if you give it a go, please tag the Jason Paul and me if you found the breakdown helpful. I love seeing you guys try to do challenges as well. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>